Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Ashwinner1408 and welcome back to Flipping Winners. So in today's video, I'll be continuing my little mini series on how to create a 2D video game on your Mac or PC using the application Stencil. So to start off with today, um, we just need to fix a few things from last time and also we'll be um, creating a bad guy and also how your player will die from your bad guy. In the next episode, we'll be creating life pickups, lives, ammo and so on. So to start off with, we need to go to our Actor 1 events and add an event. We need to go Basics, When Updating, change this to Camera. And in When Updating, we need to put in a Move Camera. We need to put in this one in here. This will automatically change to Self. After this, we'll need to create another When Updating. And this one needs to be called active and in active we'll need to put in a make we need to put in a make um, actor always active so make self always active so after this we want to create our custom block our custom die block which will help our actor die when he gets um, hit by our villains which will which will be creating later so to do that we'll need to go to add event basics uh sorry add event advanced custom block uh add event advanced custom block create new custom block change the name to die description as die and the block spec as die so we go create and then in the die block we'll need to do a few things this is probably the hardest part of this so um yeah so we're putting we need to put in a kill so kill self and then we need to go to game attributes. I've already created the game attributes needed, but I'll just show you how to create them. So you go um, create new game attributes. So the attributes you'll need is um, a score attribute, a lives attribute, and an ammo attribute. We'll be getting scores um, in our in the next episode, and also score pickups and um and live pickups in the uh, lives and live pickups in the next episode as well. So we just need to create those attributes. So you need to go name live. And change this to the amount of lives you want your player to have at the beginning. I I would uh, pick three, uh, or you don't want to put it at like ten or something, or make it too easy for your player. I've already created that here. You also need to create a score attribute, and keep that score attribute as um, zero because you want your player to start off with zero score. We'll be um, getting scores um, in the next episode. So after this, we we'll need to uh, so we've created our attributes. So we'll now we need to go to um, now we need to go here, and we get a set score to. So to get a set score to, um, we need to go setters, and here we have a set score to. You keep that as zero and drag that into here, uh, place zero, because you want your player to start off with zero score, and when he dies to have zero score. So after this, we need to go to set lives to, and also drag that in here. Then we want a minus sign. You can just place in a minus in your search bar and it should come up. There it is. A minus sign. And we put that minus sign and then we go back to game attributes. We go to getters this time. Bring our live sign into our minus sign. Um, just like that and make it minus one. Then we drag this into set lives too and drag this whole thing underneath score. Then we go game attributes one, once more. We go getters, uh, setters, sorry, set score to, leave that at zero and put that in here. Zero. Now what we need to go uh, do is we need to go back to our dashboard. We need to go to um, scenes. We need to cl click here to create a new scene. We make this once again 100 and this one 15. Then we name it. We need to name this game over and click continue. Um, this is basically just your game over screen. So you can change the properties to have a color as well. Um, a vertical gradient or a solid. So I'm just going to make it a ver vertical gradient. Okay. We'll need to go to dashboard once more. Click here to create another scene. And then we name this scene this time. Start. You can name it start or you can name it um, really whatever you want. You can name it start. Uh, you can name it... Um, intro I'm gonna name it intro for this and intro and make it a hundred again and a 
color. I'm just going to make it a solid color this time. And you can design these and you can get uh, texts from the internet um, as a tile set as I showed in the previous video. So we go back to the dashboard. We've got our game over and we've got our intro scenes. Then we go back to actor one and we go back to our die block. We then go flow if, drag it if into uh, here. Uh, actually, before that, we need to go back to game attributes. We need to go uh, set score, uh, set ammo to this time, um, and we create our ammo. Uh, we when it, once we've created our ammo attribute, and we put ammo in here once more, and we put that as a zero. After this, we need to grab an if, put that in here, uh, put that in here, and then we'll, what we need to do is we'll get we need to get a less than or equal to. Sorry, less than or equal to sign, which is here. Then we need to go back to our game attributes. We need to get our, we need to go back to getters, lives, and drag that in there and make this zero. Put that in there. And now we need to get a switch. Switch to scene, uh, switch to scene crossfade for, um, we make this two seconds. And the scene we switch to is, we choose our scene. And we just made a game over scene, so we choose to our game over scene. So once we're choosing our game over scene, we can then go to flow, grab an otherwise, put that in here. And then otherwise, put in a reload. Sorry, a re. Uh, re a reload and crossfade um, and drag that in here and we also make that two seconds so this is our die block now what we need to do is we need to create a bad guy for our uh, so our player can die when he hits the bad so as we did for the um uh, player we can just go to safari and then just look up uh, um, on google our stencil players um, i've already picked my player so i'll just be going into here click to add frame um, i'm gonna make this four times uh three and a half times for uh three times sorry for my player choose my image um, i have my screenshot right here put it in here and um, put the columns in rows 10 and 4 so then you add. Uh, I know these are currently all facing left, but you could you should just name this animation right. Then I can just go down here and I can flip uh, horizontal and then flip vertical. So now these are facing right. Then I can just uh, duplicate it, make this make this uh, left, um, and then. I can just go flip uh, flip again and then flip again vertical so now these are facing left then what you'll need to do after this is you'll need to go to your events and then you will need to do the coding for that so the coding for that is uh, pretty uh, easy actually um, because we've got our die block so we just go to events add event basics when updating and then we put if uh, drag if into here and then we get a um, equals to true we get a equals to from here put that into uh, just the equals to anything equal to anything you drag that into there then this is uh, probably the hardest bit we need to go um, this is a bit different we need to go create new game attribute Instead of, uh, for the type, we make it boolean, and we make it uh, true. And we put in for the boolean, facing, right. Okay. So now we can just go out and back in. Um, sometimes your player, won't, your thing won't come up straight away, so you need to go out of your bad guy. Then go back to your dashboard. Just then go back to your dashboard, go back into your bad guy. And then hopefully um, when we go back to events, our game attributes, our boolean getters is here. So we take our facing right into here and then we type in T-R-U-E into here and we use this true and put it into here. So now we have facing right 
is equals to true. And then now we now it's uh, pretty easy from now on. We just take a switch animation. Switch animation to right. We need to change this to right. Um, and then set X speed to um, whatever you want. I'm gonna make mine 15. Uh, you don't want to make it too too high or too too low. Then we go flow, uh, flow. Otherwise, put that in here. Uh, put that in here. Sorry. Get a switch animation. Uh, drag that into here. Make this left. And then um, we get another set X speed. Set X speed uh, to zero for actor. Then we need to make this minus 17 because he's moving the other way and then enter that. So now we have that and all we need to do now is just make one more and then we are finished. This makes it so our player dies when we um, touch it. So we go collisions, something else. Actor um, any will show up here. Uh, we can leave this, then we get an if. Drag that into here. We go the left. The left side of actor one was hit. Then we get set facing to right. We can get that from our game attributes. Setters, set facing to right. To We drag that in here and get a false block. Put that into here. Get another set facing, uh, Get this time we can get an otherwise if from uh, the flow section. So we just go flow, otherwise if, drag that in here, then we get if right side this time. The right side, sorry. The right side of actor one, drag that in here. If the right side of actor, otherwise if the right side of actor one was hit, you can get another Game attributes, get another set facing to get another false. And then we put that in there. So now your um, bad guy is done. So right, so that means if your bad guy, if your actor um, hits your bad guy, the bad guy, you'll get killed. And you'll get uh, re- uh, your, you'll, you'll be re uh, resent to the start of the game. And then all we need to do now is we just need to go scenes. Uh, scene one or scene two or whatever you have go actors and scatter your bad guy uh, along your level and to just make it harder for your opponent so thanks for um watching this video today guys i really hope you enjoyed it please uh, leave a like um down below subscribe to our channel um we really appreciate the support that has been coming in lately we're nearly at 100 subscribers um uh, thanks a lot for that. Please comment down below any suggestions for new videos and also um, make sure you stay tuned for um, Lucanators and uh, Backflips videos, which will be coming very shortly. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Peace